Guys, in today's video, I'm going to be using the slowest computer I have ever used, and that means a lot because I've used a lot of computers, and I know it's not the hard drive because the hard drive I put in is pretty fast. Also, sorry about the screen. Eh, it'll fix itself later. Um, anyway, wait, wait. Oh, that actually affects it. Anyway, so we've got a Pentium for 1.70 gigahertz, 512 megs of RAM, and yeah, you can just see, pretty slow. Well, actually, this is fine now, but it takes... Let's see if I can get it to do it again. It, well, it seems to be speeding up now. Oh well, um, but anyway, it it, when I was first had it turned on, it took like 15 seconds just to get the thing to open the file explorer. And uh, let's go take a peek at the computer now, shall we? Alrighty, so the computer in question is a Dell Op a Dimension. Sorry, I thought it was an Optiplex. It's a Dimension uh, 8200. It's got this little cool flappy thing. Pentium 4, Windows XP. Pretty big. But I will have to say, this is the quietest computer I've ever used, which is kind of surprising because it's got a Pentium 4. But yeah, literally the quietest computer I've ever used. Ooh, don't see that. That's for another video later. Well, actually, if you've already seen that one, I'm waiting for parts. <laughs> Alrighty, anyway, let's immediately put this computer out of its element and start web browsing. Also, I fixed the screen. Probably should just read whatever. Anyway, let's see what we can do. We'll just go straight to nvidia's um hmm. i think i gotta set the date oh uh, yes because for some reason why is it back now? whatever i'll fix the date already fixed extremely slow just as i anticipated nvidia's instances let's go all right let's try to play one of my videos so tech 86 computer i gotta add computer afterward or else some guy that does like drainage or something shows up um no yeah let's watch the video about this computer also that thumbnail quality it's absolutely amazing um anyway guess i clicked on it Alrighty, let's see how long me let's see if the video actually plays um 720p is extremely optimistic let's turn that down to 360 or 480 will it play I mean, it's playing. <laughs> I mean, that's as much. Oh, okay, that's as much as you can expect it. Let's go small. Let's see if that does the trick. Maybe it'll be slightly better. Hmm. Whoa, I'm at five fourteen subs, guys. Oh, thanks for the subs. I've ever said. Okay, as you can see, this is kind of working-ish. Not great, though. And something that would actually be okay for it. What was it called? I'm going to have to do smarts here. Um, ProtoWeb, was it? I think that's what it was. That's exactly what it was. Okay, I think. Is this what I think it is? Yep, this is exactly what I think it is, okay. Um, this is something that you could actually probably use this computer for. I own Proto Web Browser. Um, yeah, this is basically, um, it's a web proxy thing, basically internet archive, all the old archive sites, you can just see what the internet looked like, watch old YouTube, etc. cetera, um, download installer. Um, Alright, it's open now. Actually, I actually haven't gotten Proto Web Browser to work yet. I've actually usually used um, just Internet Explorer with proxies. But anyway, here we go. Um, I'm still using my MacBook as a thing. So yeah, well, as you can see, what we can do is we can go to Google and then see what old Google looked like, stuff like this. Let's see if we can find something fun. Ooh, FT, I don't know what these are for. You can probably download cool things. Um, you can actually play RuneScape on this, so, okay, it doesn't want to do that, so, internet, it requires Internet Explorer, um, but yeah, it does actually work, live radio, we'll see if that works, this is what we wanted to check out, but we'll do the weather forecast first, as you can see, boom, you can just go on the weather channel, I live in, sure, Indiana, um, uh, yeah, you can just look at weather, and it's actually modern and updated. Anyway, let's take a look at Warp Stream, which is the main cool thing about this. 
only three people online. This had a huge explosion of popularity when the Michael MGD did, um, made a video about it. But this is just old YouTube, as you can see. We got the uh, cl absolute classic here. This is very slow. Um, anyway, we got the old classic. Um, I got a Get Flash player. What is this? Um, 1997 whatever we'll get flash player Alrighty, now as you can see this video just plays fine this is just a really slow video so you can't really tell but this is actually playing at a totally watchable good frame rate so now after getting it well more into its element on web browsing let's go back you can even look at um <laughs> old uh, comments these are pretty funny um anyway hope you guys well why would i say we got like, anyway, let's move on to games, old games. This is more into the computer's elements. Uh, this is one of my personal favorites. I actually quite like this one. It's called Fate. Alrighty, so Fate runs really terribly, but I mean, it's still playable just because of the fact that it's a slow RPG, RPG type game. So yeah, I could play this, but this is absolutely horrendous. 10 frames, maybe. Alrighty, so Fallout 1, I have the exact same thing to say about it. It runs absolutely, actually okay-ish, but it's completely playable because of the small RPG style game it is. Alrighty guys, voice over time, I'm gonna talk really fast for this one. Anyway, so I got Quake 3 to open, it was getting about 20 to 30 FPS, um, which really isn't that great, and you'll see why in a second. Anyway, like I was saying, my netbook literally gets 30, um, 130 FPS on the highest settings. So 30 FPS is not impressive at all, especially on this desktop computer. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe if you want to see that computer over there, another one over there, and some more other stuff too. Um, and I'll see you all later. Bye.